Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play King's Field. If you guys remember from last time, we were heading towards the East Village. So, that is where I'm gonna go on my merry merry way. With zero MP, which I only just noticed for some reason. And let's go ahead and head over to the East Village. Oh, you know what it is? I think those, um, the Scythe guys, I was calling them Reapers, but those Scythe Skeletons, I believe their spell they cast on you actually drains your MP. I'm pretty positive. So that could be why I've got no MP. Could be. Just could be, you know. And yes, I, I really want to drop in there eventually. I just don't know if I'll survive it yet. So we'll do it later. It's all good. It's all in due time. All in due time. But let's go ahead and head over to the East Village. And I don't know why, but I always felt like this uh, area was more Asian inspired. I don't know, I think it's because you find like a samurai blade in this area. I could be just way off base. Way, way off base, and this is going to be sealed, isn't it? There's gold, uh... I believe there's the gold fountains in there, and you can get some gold potion. That's alright, no big deal. Let's head over towards this jumping spider! Who always scared the crap out of me when I was a kid, because they jump. See that? Jumping spider. Not a fan of them. Whoa! That was some interesting uh, collision there. There you go, jumping spider on the watermelon heads. He just wants some watermelon. Can you blame him? You know what, I'm actually gonna switch out my weapon. I feel like I actually like the Morningstar more, because this is 94 strength, which is strong. But the Morningstar is gonna be 68 plus 33, so that's actually gonna be 101 added together. It does multiple types of damage, so if one enemy is weak to one thing, it might actually be better. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe the battle hammer is better. It could. It probably just depends on the enemy you're fighting. Looks like I got poisoned. I always thought this music was so creepy, by the way. Super, super creepy. When I was a kid, this this area legitimately scared the crap out of me. Between the music and the jumping spiders, and plus that that blue, it really freaked me out. That guy just tried to jump on my head. Didn't he? How rude. How rude of you, jumping spider. I didn't give you permission to jump on my head. When I was a kid, I was a Boy Scout. I was at Boy Scout camp, and a daddy long leg fell out of a tree onto my head. It scared the crap out of me. Maybe that's why it scares me so much, is it brings back those types of memories. But yeah, I don't know. This, uh... Between the music and this blue aesthetic, it really just was so creepy to me. What's up, Archer? He was trying to high-five me, that's what that was. He was like, yo, bro, high-five! And I said, no, not right now, this isn't the time. So I smacked him in the face with a morning star. That's, that's what I imagine happened, at, at least. Yeah, I know I'm low on health. It's all good. It's all good, guys. I guess I should've gone back to the Pirate's Bay, huh? But I'm gonna get a Rhombus Key. I'm just saying that because, uh... I think that gold potion area I could have opened up at this point, but I only have one Dragonstone. I don't remember where the other one is. Huh. Well, I'm mainly going in here to go ahead and use a blue potion, which I thought I had a zillion of. Somehow it didn't save my zillion blue potions. Unless I used them and forgot about it. Oh, it's the tree dudes. Let's, I want, actually I want to use my uh, truth mirror on them. I'm curious. I always just called them tree dudes when I was a kid. I think they are related to trees somehow, like tree people. Yeah, there we go. Log stalker, so log would be tree. A heinous monster that attacks people. It used to be a dead tree before it was given a soul by Necron. Necron again, guys! Necron's just... Oh, wow, these guys uh, really took out my health, didn't they? Alright, uh, at this point, I don't want to waste my... Only Moonstone. And it seems like this dude's gonna mess me up. I don't think I'm ready for this guy at the moment. I'm gonna peace out. For the time being, we'll come back. We'll come back to him. I'm sure I could deal with him if I really wanted to. As long as I took out one, the rest would be fine. But we're gonna play it safe. We're gonna play it safe for now. And go to a safe spot, which I really did not need at all. What I need is more blue potion. Or some sort of potion. That's okay. That's okay, we'll go this way to avoid the watermelon head. 
Let's see what's over in this direction. Which looks like it's just gonna take us to the other walkway. Cool. Cool. Whoa! Hey! Those guys really jumped. They got the hops. They should play basketball. That's what I think. That was a crazy jump, Spider. I gotta give you prop mad props for that. Wow. Wow. And you landed on the bridge? I was not expecting that at all. Alright. What's over through this? It's probably a base. That would be my guess. Is it a base? Base number three. There we go. Was, yep, it's a base. So, yeah, there's gonna be another one of these dudes in it because they always hang out in the bases. In background soldiers. Actually, there's two of them. I'm gonna see one of them over there. Ha! See, you can use people as meat shields too in this game, which is awesome. I love doing that. Meat shielded out. This morning star is not doing me too good anymore. Maybe I was just in an area where it rocked. A number of other rhombus keys. So this is all important because I do eventually have to go to the big mine. Let's use up with some of these earth herbs and play it safe. At this point, no reason to just aimlessly die. That that's not cool. I don't want to do that. So this is where I came from. And yeah, alright. Man, these watermelon guys have a lot of health, don't they? In this area. I guess they kinda leveled up too, huh? I think I just saw a spider in the corner of my eye. Maybe not. I really thought I saw something over here. Oh, maybe it's just that sign. So, alright, so that's gonna go up and lead me across to the tree people. That's gonna be the save point. Alright, I got this area figured out. We'll come back to the log people later. What we're gonna do instead is, uh, let's go ahead and go down. Even though there's actually a village. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to Gigi, actually. I think Gigi's this way. Yeah, so again, new music, new area. I mean, that's that's what I've been saying. Base stuff. Basic stuff. I think there's a secret passage in this part. Yeah. There just had to be. An area like this had to be. I was checking the other walls. Professional wall checker. Oh, secret wall to the village. That's how you know it's safe. Or is it? Poisonous slimes. Oh yeah, so Spike Ball here helping out with these guys because that's what they're weak to. Let's see what's in this treasure chest. Scorpion bracelet. Alright, that's actually going to give us some poison resistance. So that's always very, very useful. And especially once we get to the... Um, once we get to the mine... And if I want to find out and know for sure what this does, that fortune teller I met is going to tell us, but I'm just telling you guys right now, it's poison resistance. The scorpion bracelet. Super useful item. I'm a big fan. Definitely a fan of it. I don't know if, I don't know if these blue walls have secret passages either, actually. Because notice how this white area is where we want to to get to the secret passage. So let's go ahead and go to the other side of those houses. And there's the other side there. I'm just going to check. That's the house we were just in. Let's go ahead and check for secret passages, just in case. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there are any. Alright, over here we got a house. It's Harris Carvito's house. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really want to use my truth glass on those jumping spiders. Just, I just was thinking jumping spiders and my mind went to poop. I didn't think. Alright, this is going to be Gigi here. Notice that pendant? Very important. All right, let's use our truth glass on Gigi and find out the truth about Gigi. Truth. Gigi Budwell. She moved to the island with her father. Gigi is frequently sick, so she doesn't go out very often. She hopes to hear from Leon about his adventures. Leon's, uh, he's a good dude. Solid dude. What's up, Gigi? That was a slow movement. My father has come home for three days. He said that he would find a big crystal this time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sounds like big mine if he's looking for crystals. I want to go to find him, but I'm very scared of the underworld. I would be too. I am, hell, I am scared of the underworld. I'm a grown-ass man. Leon is missing as well. What should I do now? Leon again? Solid bro. Leon's a good guy. He appears in Kingsfield too as well. I believe that dad is safe. Do you now? 
I hope so. I believe that that is safe, big mine. I hope so. Alright, I should have gone this way first because there's water. You know what this is going to do? This is going to allow me to go fight those log people. Now I'm going to feel confident now that I got all my healing items. Let's go fight log dudes after- uh oh. What? No way. No way. I can definitely use my crystal flask on this. There we go. I was just in the wrong position. It's all good. It's all good. Let's get some blue potion. Yes, delicious. It's gonna heal my health all the so well. Not all the way, but so well. I like me that blue potion. Alright. Good place. I'm glad I went this way first. Very, very glad, actually. I'm not just glad, I'm very, very glad. Alright, let's go ahead and check the other way. So the abandoned house from Harris Carvito. Where is Harris Carvito? I wonder who he's related to. Crystal! Good thing I checked- Ooh, both had crystals. I wonder if Gigi's father found those crystals and was hiding them away for Gigi for the future. When I feel like a jerk, because Gigi's always like, Oh, check that out! We found a dragon crystal tree. All hail the dragon crystal tree. All hail the gra dragon crystal tree. Alright, there we go. Tiny speck up there. See that? Dragon Crystal. Yeah! That's awesome. That's was gonna take a while to grow. So, while it's doing that, let's go explore some more. We'll come back and get our Dragon Crystal. Now that we- now that's growing, yeah. I'm all about that. So, to explore, we've already explored all these ways. Man, I went- I wish I went to that Dragon Crystal first. And I'm pretty sure going down is going to lead to a drop-off, which is how we get the Samurai Blade, which is awesome, and I really want it. But, um... Not good to get yet. Oh, whoa! Alright. Not at the drop-off yet. We're at some Skeletors. They came all the way straight from He-Man, Masters of the Universe. Whoa, there's probably a skeleton behind me. I think that's what that noise was. Alright. Gotta be careful. You can easily get hit from behind if you're not paying attention. Carrying a total of one gold in all those pockets of yours, huh? I guess it makes sense, right? Right. Okay, so they're not terrible. Hit me for 20. That's doable. The cemetery for the military guards of King Harbin III. I guess that, that makes sense, because we we're pretty close to King Harbin's castle. Let's go ahead and uh, look into it. Let's check this book. Let's check this out. Left and right. Alright. All I know is I'm hearing skeletons. And we've got lots of stuff to check out in these rooms. We've got walls to check, we've got graves to check, we've got treasure chests to check, we've got skeletons to kill. This is a happening place. Soldier's grave, soldier's grave, soldier's grave. Oh, whoa! Oh, man. I realized last second I need to back up, and I didn't back up enough. It happens. But unfortunately, it happened to me. Boo! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! That was a close call. Alright. Do not want you to kill me. I, look. I just don't want it. Alright, these guys can travel through rooms, apparently. They're not getting stuck on walls, so... That's good to note. Let's take these guys out. They're traveling from room to room. They, they smelled my presence. They're like, I smell flesh. Level up. Alright, nice. Good. I think I need that in this area. Like, that would be very helpful for log people and skeletons abound. Definitely able to use that level up. I will take it. Now I'm level 18. Alright, checking these walls. Professional wall checker in the house. Good thing I did. Good thing I did. Maybe. Is this gonna be a double-double? 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 Wow. Alright, nothing. Oh! Phantom Rod on the ground. It was a hidden Phantom Rod. There are some items like that that you can't you just can't see. I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's just another secret of the game. Or maybe you need the Phantom uh, Rod to use it. I don't know. I, I'm kind of curious. And Yeah, see, that time I knew. I knew. I was like, nah, this one's going to be a skeleton. I'm really curious, though, if those Phantom or the Rods, which I keep on calling them, even though that might not be the right name, let me just check again. 
I want it is a fandom rod, okay. They they reveal secret passages, but the question is Wow that guy that guy was loaded. Question is, do they reveal um secret items on the ground? Because if they do, then that would make sense and it's not a glitch. But if they don't, I don't know if it's a glitch if the developers just had hidden items like that on purpose. Questions. Answers? Questions. Alright, those were both empty afterwards. Not exciting. But, like we do, let's check these walls. I heard a wall open. Yeah, there it is. I heard that. Earth herb, yeah! These secret walls are amazing. <laughs> Alright, maybe there's another hidden item. No, 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 no. Alright, I'm gonna use a uh, blue potion again. Let's play safe. I, I just don't want like another snail to shoot through the wall at me and kill me. Checking again, check all of these soldiers' graves. Very important. So there you go, Blood Ruby. That's why you check every grave. Gotta check it all. It's like collecting all. Like pretend you're a Pokemon master, but instead of collecting them all, you're checking them all. Then you'll be set. For for the new generation. When I Pokemon came out when I was in fifth grade, and it was the most amazing thing ever. Or actually, or was it? No, it was sixth grade. I'm a liar. Sixth grade. It came out when I was in sixth grade. But uh, some people, that was maybe their first game, or one of their first. I think it's a game that's okay to reference at, at this point. If you haven't played it, you should. It's a great game. Alright. Checking this for a skeleton. Whoa! It's just empty. Somebody's been pillaging, huh? Phantom Rod! There are a lot of Phantom Rods here. Apparently they're indicating and they're trying to tell you that there's going to be secrets in this area. That's what I'm gathering from that. Yep, there we go. Another secret wall. And it looks like a weapon. Crescent Axe. I didn't need to buy it. What do you know? Didn't... I was tempted to buy it. I, f I couldn't remember if uh, there was one. So, alright, let's go ahead and equip it. Or at least check out its stats and see if it's worth equipping. Once I get the Samurai Blade, I think that's going to beat out this Crescent Axe. But it might be good for now. Plus, I really like its range. Alright, so, our strength right now is 33 and 68. If we equip the Crescent Axe, which is actually lower than the Battle Hammer, making me think it's better. Let's see what it is. No, I don't want to drop it. 43, 85, 14. Wow, that slow just got a lot better. A lot better unless it's stab damage you're looking for. So it's got, not only is its chop almost as good as the Battle Hammer's chop damage, but it's also got 14 stab damage and 43 slash damage on top of that. Check that out, Sideways. I'm a big fan of the Sideways Swing. Big fan of the Crescent Axe. I knew it was, I remembered it was good. I didn't remember it was that good. Oh, that was awesome. Knocking that dude's head off like that. Oh, Crescent Axe. You make me so happy. Okay, Lone Grave. Whose Lone Grave? Whose Lone Grave is that? That's kind of creepy. Forever alone. Forever alone. I wonder if the Truth Blast says anything about this lone grave. I doubt it. I don't think it does. I don't think it works like that, but I'm just curious. It's probably going to tell me the area I'm in. Soldier's Cemetery. Alright, well, at least we know the area I'm in. Actually, you know what? I'm cur kind of curious now that I think about it. I don't really know a lot of the areas in this game, what they're really technically called. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to do that as I go through the areas, because I do want to know. So, I mean, so this is the Soldier Cemetery. Obviously, King Harvine. Uh, it's his cemetery for his soldiers. Alright. Let's keep on going down. Let's keep on this uh, path. Alright. What's up, guys? Let me knock your head off. <laughs> I got a joke. It's gonna knock you out. Alright. Got some strength. Always a fan of that. Strength powers up to 43. Nice. Sweet. Oh, I thought I was backed up enough. I guess not. Man, I didn't actually wait for that to uh, come back all the way, and it still worked out. This time you can see the Bloodstone. That's not fun. Whatever. Alright, it's fine. I'm being picky. I'm being picky. I'm surprised that actually hit him, to be honest. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I didn't think that was going to hit. Alright, let's keep on checking these walls. There's a secret wall. All of these have got a secret- Whoa! Secret wall and a secret window. With mole claws? 
Oh no, those are oh some sweet sweet equipment. It's gonna be stone hands. Yeah. Yeah. My defense just shot up probably. I don't remember what my defense was, but it probably shot up. I know I haven't been checking my defense stats. I know. I don't know. I just I just know my defense is getting better. I don't need to check. Oh, oh, that's sad. All right, we're gonna need to keep that one in mind. So there's a locked treasure chest. What's up, skeleton? I don't know if you can hurt me when I've got my stone hands and I'm knocking your head off. Yeah. Oh, carving. Most soldiers have already died. There's no way to leave the island. We realize that there is no way back home. So apparently, people are pretty distraught in this land. Uh, Moonstone, I will take it. Get some MP in this house. Oh, oh, okay. That freaked me out because I got stuck on this treasure chest, which does not have a skeleton in it. It's just empty. Oh, trap? Yeah, that one was a trap. I was like, there's gotta be a trap one coming up. After everything. Yeah, there have been so many secret walls. A trap had to happen at some point. It's Kingsfield. It's Kingsfield, guys. That's what they do in this game. Soldier's graves. Soldier's graves all over the place. Let's check out this one. And it's just a regular grave. Fine. Another person just has a grave. Okay, see again. It took a while. It took a while. We found a secret passage within a secret passage. That's why you always check. Always check. Always. I was just thinking, what if there's three? That would be crazy. Can I open it? Is there a skeleton? No. Cease plume. I just happen to remember that's what it's called because we haven't found one yet. I don't remember what it does though. I honestly have no idea. Um, I, somehow I think it's MP related. Or maybe it gives you some MP... Um, like, not regen, but MP defense. I honestly don't remember. Alright, this is going to be the drop-off to get the Samurai Blade. Um, I don't know if I honestly would survive that drop. Especially not with 120 health. Let me make sure I can actually warp out. I can't. I would get stuck if I did that, because look, my star key's with me. So we are not going to do that right now. I'm going to go save it, and then we'll try it after I save. Plus, I mean, I got to drop off the star key anyways. So, not a good idea to try that yet, but we'll come back. Don't, no, don't, don't fear. Come back. I think you can kill these things. Yeah, I just hit it and it got hurt. So these little light bulb things, you, you can kill. I feel like a jerk. It wasn't doing anything. Just kind of hanging out. What are they called? I don't even know what they are, honestly. Let's try using a truth blast on it. I bet you didn't know that. I bet most people who play this game had no idea you could kill those things. Fire elementals. A fireball with an element of fire. It's, it floats with intellect. It doesn't seem to flow with intellect. It doesn't hurt. Me. I mean, hey, I'm. Whoa, whoa! You just teleported and dropped. That was not cool. Skeleton. In the realm of cool and not cool, that go it's not cool. Just saying. Wait, let's blue potion this up. Fire elemental. You can hurt them. Teaching you guys new things. I think the. Uh, I think one of the magician's keys or something is over here or close by. I believe. Or maybe it's outside, but somehow I remember it being associated with one of these cells. I, I have a feeling that cell that we saw over there is going to be jail key related, just so you know. Not jail bait, just jail key related. Yes, I had to do Yes, I had to say that. I had to do it. I had to. I'm trying to have fun here. Even though this game is fun in itself. Whoa. These sound effects are kind of freaking me out, I gotta admit. Got to admit, sound effects are kind of freaking me out. I don't know what they are. I think it's water. I think it's water. It's freaking me out. Freaking me out. Stop it. Dude, this guy did some amazing damage on me. Okay. I was afraid there would be a trap door, but there wasn't. We are safe. We are safe for the time being. No secret doors I'm finding. All I know is there is this water sound effect. That's not making me happy. Uh, it's not not my happy sound effect. But... All right. Um. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Let's just go this way. 
Let's go this way. I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna go jump, jumping for joy. But I do want that dragon crystal first, because we waited long enough. We did our, we did our time. First, I thought I was stuck, and I was gonna be really upset if I was stuck. There's our secret passage. There we go. Dragon crystal's ready. I see it. I see it. It's ready. Here we go. Always worth it. Best freaking item ever! I love dragon crystals. I love them. I wonder if Gigi's got anything new to say. I don't think she does, because I haven't done anything really, but I'm just curious. What's up, Gigi? Got anything new to say? You still believe that Dad's safe? Ah, oh, that's touching. And I hope he is. I really, truly hope he is. Really and truly. Okay. Alright, so we know Samurai Blade's gonna be that way. And let's keep going over here, over here, to be saved. So I can drop off. Oh, I was supposed to refill all my health stuff. Oh, you guys were supposed to remind me. Why didn't you tell me? What's wrong with you guys? All right, star key. Drop that. We're going to need some magic, so I need to use a moonstone. I'll, I'll save using my moonstone, though. And I'm going to save it. Yes, you guys have to sit through a save. This is just in case I die, because I don't know if I'm going to survive this drop I'm about to do. And this is for backup. I, I know the dragon crystals take you back to the fountain area, but I honestly cannot remember if they take you back to the fountain area um, only after you make the gold potion appear or before. So I'm trying to play a little safe here. I'm gonna go ahead and refill on my water before I forget. That's that's really why I was trying to visit Gigi, obviously. For the water. That's how she makes friends. She makes... Sandra loves going to her place and hanging out with her because she's got this tasty, tasty, delicious water that I want to slurp all up. All up in this. Let's keep on drawing some water. I'm gonna fill up. Even though I might die from this drop. I'm gonna fill up anyways. Alright. East Village drop time. Let's get the Samurai Sword. Which I'm, I think is better than the Crescent Axe we just got. So sadly, Crescent Axe might be short-lived. I'm sorry. Other cool thing about this, um... This weapon. And I'll show you guys later when I am starting Gold Potion. But you can actually do a magic attack with it. Did I go up here? I did. I did go up here. I'm an idiot. I did. I went up. I, went up. I just wanted to check again. Alright. Let's go do this thing. I'm gonna sprint all the way over there. We're going back upstairs. Alright, before I pop off, I wanna test the zone, test the grounds. Okay guys, so to the right there, you see that shield? You get through there another way. There's another passage that's gonna take you there. And there's another fire crystal. Remember the first time where they said there was a lighthouse and it was being powered? It was actually the fire crystal I stole that had fireball that was powering the fire, uh, the lighthouse. So I gotta run and make it to that grave. So that is going to be my goal here. Run and make it to the grave. I survived. Wow, I easily survived that. The Sheedon. We got us a Sheedon. Check out this grave here. It's the Samurai's grave. The Samurai's grave. And you know, I think it might be the Samurai friend of the first that uh, girl who was talking at the beginning of the game whose name I do not remember. Let's use the truth glass on it, see if it says anything. I don't think it does it for graves, but I'm curious where we're going to end up, and it says we are. We're in the east sea side. It's not the west sea side, which is where we start off in the game, we're in the east sea side. Um, and that is why I haven't been to this lighthouse yet. Alright, so we would be trapped, except for I've got my moonstone. So I've got some magic, and now we can go ahead and use my stargate to warp back to where I dropped off the star key. Other cool thing, other cool note, I'm going to take my star key again. Other cool note is I did get some blue potion, so we don't need to go back up and grab more. And there, I'm going to go ahead and use an earth herb, heal up on some health, and let's go check out the rest of this area. So, that said, let's go ahead and check out this equipment that we got here. So, the Sheedon, uh, let's compare it. 43.85.14, 43.85.14, 43.85.14, 135. So, it's about equal damage-wise, except for this does pure slash damage and an extra wind magic damage. So I, I don't, I think the wind magic only factors in if you actually use this wind magic attack, which I'm, I think, uh, 
You have to put square triangle. Something with hitting square tri triangle at the same time to use it. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out and I will use it to show you guys. But oh, that was amazing. Killed him in one hit. I'm a happy guy. I am a very happy guy. We don't need to go up there. Because we already know what's up there. It's just going to lead us to the loop around. I don't care. I just want to go face these tree monsters now that I have all this, uh, all this health. And also better weapons. And we have better defense. We got better defense, we got better, better weapons, and we got a ways, a means to uh, heal ourselves. So we're doing a lot better here. Right, let me blue potion it up. I'm not going to take any risks. Oh, I walked right into his attack. Right-handed magic attack. See that? This is awesome because it's so much easier to hit him now that I'm swinging sideways instead of up down. Another reason that these attacks can really... Uh, Help you out, like some of these weapon switches. Also, worth dropping in those places. I wish I left my key where I did, because I don't remember if those there are dead ends or not. But you do want to eventually uh, drop into those. So now we're at the miner's graveyard, I believe, because look at all these miner's graves. Also, I think you're going to find the miner's map in one of these uh, graves. So again, always worth searching every grave. More rhombus keys. So again, exploration, awesome. Once we get to the big mine area, we want all the rhombus keys we can possibly get. I'm, I'm just dropping in here to check the truth glass, because I want to see the name of the area we're in, because I'm very curious. We're in the cemetery. Okay, it's just the cemetery. It's a, obviously a minor cemetery. I mean, I don't I didn't need the truth glass to tell me that. It's just it's definitely a minor cemetery. I think their tree people's attacks has a bit of a homing to it as well, by the way. Just, just throwing that out there. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No, 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 he slowed me down, oh, no, no, I know I hate to go so much, uh, I'm so not happy about this, actually I might be screwed here honestly because of this slowdown that he just cast on me, let's use a bloodstone and get, get out of this area for a moment, ugh, god dang it, Gosh, darn. Oh, there's a dude here. Um, I had no idea about that. Ghost, you I hate you, ghost. I hate your passion. And my Sheedon's not killing him one hit. He just got hit with magic too, and he's not dying. Screw you, ghost. Yeah, so not all these wells are actually drop-offs, interestingly enough, like this one. Alright, let's find out who you are, and then let's talk to you. Who are you first? Who are you? Who are you? I'm not gonna use Seed's Plume by accident. Har Harris Garf Carvito. Is that the first resident on this island? He was a skilled crystal miner before he hurt his leg. Now he lives outside the village, keeping his friend's grave. I believe that's the person's house that we saw. You came for crystals too. My leg was broken by falling rocks, which killed my friend at the same time. I'm taking care of his grave now. I couldn't find anything of value while I was out digging for crystals. Looks like he's just knocking his head against the wall. I guess he was walking around. Everybody worked very hard, but the crystals that we found were barely enough to support our lives. The merchants take advantage of us. Also, we cannot go back to our country because this island is poisoned. Merchants take advantage. Maybe like um, a certain merchant that we met last week. Hmm? What do you think? Clearly in line with Necron. Since I broke my leg, I haven't been into the mine. I can live though, because my friend left me enough crystals. However, since Necron came to the island, he has made life very difficult for us. Crystals worth a lot here. Worth a lot. Actually, maybe those were his crystals I stole in the barrel. In the back, there are the graves of King Harvine's soldiers. The soldiers were left on this island after Harvine withdrew. Those poor soldiers had believed that Harvine would return for them. I can still hear their voices in my mind. In my mind! Oh, well, I accidentally skipped out of that dialogue. Good thing it looks like it was the last one. Recently, I've been dreaming of my youth. Let's make sure that was his last dialogue. Yeah. Alright. Crystal. Ah, oh, dude, I feel so bad. I'm taking his crystals. I shouldn't just leave them like that. For me to steal. Because I'm a terrible person. Alright, 
All right, let's uh, let's take care of these guys first. Oh, almost dropped in there. I don't want to do that yet because I don't freaking. I want to find a save that I can drop off my um, my star key again. I, I really should have left it in. Okay, okay, okay. Let's th oh, there's two of them. Wow. Mainly the ghost. That's why I'm not happy with this right now. Okay, that's cool. I'll let you guys attack each other though. See, I like that. This is making me happy. You guys can attack each other all you want. All you want. So it looks like the ghost is going to get stuck on this, which is fine. See that? See that? It's called teamwork. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork and killing yourselves. Oh, whoops. Alright, I need to use the blue potion. This really isn't working that well. <laughs> Apparently, this is not the greatest strategy in the world. It's just because I don't want to deal with this ghost. Hate your ghost so much. Seriously, hate ghosts. You guys know that. You guys have been with me the whole time. If you're if you're here, you probably know. You probably saw my goals trolling me video. All right. Hey, I got some earth herbs. Other thing is, these guys can drop birdites. They can drop birdites. Magic power. Crazy ridiculousness. Amazingness. These are all verbs that describe it. Uh, Birdite, all of them at the same time. Checking so all the graves again because I know one of them has a miner's map, which is very, very worth it. And let's see, that's not gonna get a draw a drop. It might be one of these back ones over here. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. I feel like it's one of the bigger ones that had it, if I remember correctly. I feel like could be wrong, but I feel like that's the case. Okay, so now that I don't have this. Uh, stab damage. Maybe that's why I'm not killing these guys right away. Ah, uh, you stupid ghost! Why did it have to be ghosts? I can deal with snakes, but ghosts? Ugh. These guys are the worst. Get over, get back here. Get back here. I want that crystal, but I do not want to get slowed down from you. Okay, there's one attack. I got sideways attacks now. Bro. That's right, I got a giant range. Alright, see again, I could drop down there. I think that is where the Magician's Key is, is down in that area. But, just for safety's sake, let's not get trapped forever. Now, if I did get trapped forever, and I died, and I have a Dragon Crystal, that could also get me out of a sticky situation. Again though, I don't remember if the Dragon Crystal is going to actually warm me out or not, or if I need the, uh... Or if I need to start the Gold Fountain. I just don't remember. So I'm not going to take that risk. Alright, level up. I think it's a well-needed level up, honestly, in this area. Kind of well-needed on that one. So let's go ahead and check out the other side here. And then we'll go, go back, drop off our star key, and start dropping down. So here we've got the other side of this miner's graveyard. So sad, so sad. So sad that there's more ghosts! Get out of here! Get out of here! I swear to god, I will send you- You're already dead, but I will re-kill you. And then I'll repurpose you. I'll take your ghost ashes and, and do horrible things with them. Like, use them to come up with an antidote for everything about ghosts. Poison ghost antidote. That's actually not an antidote, it's a reverse of an antidote because it's a poison. I'm not hurting these dudes at all. Apparently the Crescent Axe was way stronger against them. But I like my sheet in. I just like it. It's a sword. The swords are awesome. I got a bloodstone. As I was talking and rambling on. Bloodstone. Check all these graves out. It's a miner's grave. Miner's grave. What's this one? Up oh, the miner's grave. The miner's grave. Maybe all their names were the miners. How sad would that be? They don't have an identity. They're all just a miner. I'm so tempted, like really tempted, to get slow down. To use the Crescent Axe just because I'm curious. I'm really curious to see if the Crescent Axe is better. Let's find out. I, I am curious. Switch over to the Crescent Axe. I'm going to use that uh, Bloodstone I got before. Because I don't feel like being slowed down right now. I don't got time to be slowed down. Let's see how this Crescent Axe does against these guys. 
so, so far, not helping them really with the ghosts. But what about with our skeletons so we're taking four hits? It, get, it could just be a different area, and therefore they have a different amount of health. Or it could be that the Sheena is just not as good against them. I'm not sure. Not sure. Okay, nothing in there except for Moonstone. What, you are locked. Let's check all the graves. There we go. Miner's map, like I said. Found it in a grave. Again, another area I'm just gonna have to come back to because of uh, the treasure chest. So, alright. Moonstone, let's go ahead and heal up. With my blue potion, final one. That's sad. Ah, ghost, what are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here! I don't remember where the miner's map shows you, but it might be the big mine. And that's probably what it is, is for the big mine. That makes a lot of sense. So let's go ahead and check it out. Miner's map. Oh, it shows this area too. So it's gonna show me, uh, I think the underground as well. And I think by dropping down, that's how you get the magician's key, so that's gonna be important for us to do that. So let's see what's up in this area. Oh, this also might be a drop off too. I should really just go place that key, shouldn't I? I really should. Alright, this is just a slime fest. And now, this was kind of interesting at first, in the first video, but at this point we're so used to slimes that it's kind of just a little boring. It's the only slimes. I guess it's kind of a relief, though, after those tree people, log dudes. It is kind of nice to only have to deal with slime. Like, gotta admit. Kind of a sigh of relief on that. Like, alright, what you got for me? Just slimes? Alright. No I've been dealing with slimes all day. That's not gonna bother me at all. Let's check for secret passages, because this room is so random. It might just be a random room and that's it. Might have secret passages. Secret passage. There we go. With 200 coins. Alright, and that's not bad. Honestly. 200 coins isn't a lot. It's just fine. Oh! Oh, I'm glad I went this way. I totally somehow forgot about this area. Which is a new village area. Actually, a very important area. And we can drop off my, uh... We can drop off my gate over here. Let's go ahead and do that. My key. Star key. Important to get it right. I'm gonna drop that off. And I think there might be enemies over... Oh, nope. Another seal did not accept the area where, again, you need that um, special weapon to get in. So it's another one. Let's check for secret passages, even though I don't think there are any in this spot. Just checking, you know, got, gotta make sure. Alright, there is none. And there were none! So, some cool stuff, actually. Some cool secret stuff coming up here. That's gonna lead me across a bridge to a new area. Uh, that's gonna be more log people, screw that. F that noise. Super creepy grandma is here, and a grave, and nothing over back here right now. So eventually Leon's gonna come over here, I believe. I believe this Leon. Okay, this is important. Remember this. Remember that. Moon, crescent moon, facing up, and trident. Spear facing up. Super important. That's a figure of Seath. Also important to note. Let's go ahead and talk to our grandma first. What's up? Actually, whose house is this, anyways? Karen Shore and Leon Shore. Maybe this is... So, yeah, that is Leon ends up tending the garden over there. So, Karen Shore... Do you think that's who that is? Let's Truth Glass her. Let's do it. Truth Glassing you. Karen Shore. Karen is a descendant of the High Elf, Kinsfolk, and had lived a quiet life in the depths of the forest. She left her village with her son, Leon, who is half-human and half-elf, and came to the island. Oh, so Leon's half-human and half-elf. Very intriguing. Thanks for coming here. Oh, that's a terrible voice for her. Thanks for coming here. It has been a long time since Necron took my son, Leon. Here is the figure of Seath that Leon made. I'll give you this figure, so please, save my son. I'm not doing a very good job on the falsetto, I'm sorry. We elves couldn't carry out this task. We hope that you can do it. So she wants me to take the figure of Seath that Leon made. She asked me to, so I will go ahead and take it. I'm not a thief, but she asked me to take it. All right. Thank you for the figure of Seath. Let's go thank her. Whoa, what? She is gone. 
but the rocking chair is still rocking. Rock on, Karen. Rock on. God, that was a cheesy joke. I didn't do it on purpose. I really didn't. Um, I wonder if the truth class is still going to show that she's here. That's why I'm doing this. I'm just curious. Yeah, it still says she's there. So apparently she still exists as a ghost. Rocking back and forth. Kind of, uh, super creepy. Not gonna lie. Karen, you are a creepy woman. If you're gonna pull that crap. Yes. I uh, know. We're going to face this dude like this. Like this. There's a reason I'm coming over here. And you guys will see it in just a moment. So, Sheedan is better against these dudes, apparently. Because this is taking a bunch of hits. Oh, Dragon Crystal, sweet. Uh, Alright, so check it out. You can see Krakens are down there that are red. You can barely see them. Red Krakens. Important thing to note. What, why, what is this area down here? I wonder what it could be. Let's fall and check it out. Alright. So, oh, oh, it's, there's nothing in here. Oh, oh, boo, boo socks. Well, let's check for secret passages. There might be something. Uh, whoa, what? Another figure of Seath? A second one? Okay, clearly I knew it was there. But, yeah, always check. Always, always check. So, if we remember, there was the guy at the beginning who wanted a figure of Seath, and now we can feel good about giving him it and getting the moon gate so we can use the moon key, but still having a figure of Seath. So I'm going to keep the star key where it is now so I can always warp back here and use the Stargate, but once we get the Moon Gate, we'll have a couple areas now that we can uh, move to. I always recommend having one uh, Moon Key and Moon Gate on you at all times. That's how I killed the head first. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I did that. That's cool. Uh, anyways, you gotta fall correctly, because otherwise you fall. See that dark water? You will die if you fall in that dark water. Alright, so, had to be able to warp out. I can. Gonna use the Stargate to warp back. And here we are. We're back here. And with that, let's go ahead and uh, use an Earth Herb. And go check out that one drop that we didn't get to check out. And I think after that, that's going to wrap up this Let's Play. And uh, after that, we will go explore this area in next, next week's Let's Play. But let's go ahead and go back and explore the downstairs part. And again, I could actually drop right now if I wanted to. Or I can go across that bridge and check it out. And by the way, those dragonflies there... See that dragon play? He can knock you off the bridge. Just throwing that out there. Just so you guys know, always be on edge. Always. I'm gonna go ahead and run through because I do not feel like dealing with these. And I'm gonna re-equip my sheet in because it's awesome. Just because it's awesome. I just feel like anything like that that's a super secret is really sweet. I mean, the Crescent Axe was secret, but the sheet in feels like even more secret to me. It's like super secret. Alright, so we can drop off this way, or we can try one of those random ones. I don't know if there's a difference. I don't know. They, um... Oh, wait, what? I totally missed this somehow. Uh, yeah, so apparently I could have also just dropped the star key in right here, and warped to this area. Because I'm an idiot and completely missed it. Not that it matters that much. Interesting that he swings the sheet in from left to right, but he swings the crescent axe from right to left. Maybe because he's a righty... And the Crescent Hacks is two-handed? I, I don't know. What is nice, though, is that these uh, tree people are gone. Alright, I honestly don't know. I'm sure they'd drop you in different areas of this spot. Uh, one might be a secret area, I don't remember. Let's look up and try and mark this. So we can find out. Oh, we're in the Elf Graveyard, I believe. Or in Elf Graveyard. There's elves here, and we're gonna drain you by magic. And that's annoying. Especially since I needed to warp. Good thing I have a Moonstone. So we got some Verdite. Lots of Verdite in this area, if I remember correctly. This is going to make this Let's Play a lot longer than I wanted it to be. But that's just the way it is. I honestly thought I was dropping into a different area, which is kind of why I came here. Oh well. All's well that ends well. It's all good. You guys can handle it, I think. A little bit longer of a Let's Play. Man, this just happened to me tonight. I also recorded my fourth Dark Souls Let's Play. And it also went longer than I wanted it to. Oh well. Oh well, maybe, I hope you guys are enjoying it, and you guys are cool with it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but when there's longer less plays like this, I, I really like them, because I can turn them off and on, and kind of, you know, you don't have to watch it all in one sitting, you just watch it at, as your leisurely time. It doesn't have to be all in one sitting. 
Doesn't have to be. So this is gonna be an elf grave here. Elf grave, elf grave. Uh, and let's go ahead and use our truth glass to see where we are. Because let's just do it. It's fun. See what it's actually called. Not, I always want to use his plume. Always. The elf graveyard. Ha! Ha, I feel good about myself. I always feel very self-affirming when I get something like that right. Especially for a game I haven't played in such a long time. These dudes are elf ghosts right here. And I will prove it to you by using my truth glass on one. When he actually come, come to me. By the way, when they hit you, you might think they don't hurt you for anything because they drain your magic instead. They are not nearly as annoying as Ghost to Kill, though. Not nearly, nearly as annoying. All right, Refma, the soul of High Elf, which is protecting their dark crystal. It doesn't remember what it once was and attacks those who come near it. Oh, damn it! Because of the description, I got thrown off and I let him hit me. See, he didn't hurt me for much. But notice how much magic you drain? They drain you. Drain you of your magic. They just take it out. It also seems like they laugh, too. It's kind of creepy the way they die. Like, they're, like melting away. It's like their faces melt off. Let's check out these elf graves. There's, there's bound to be something in one of them. So I always check every grave. So, elf bolt, I think. So that would make sense in the elf grave, you get an elf bolt. So, the only good thing about these guys, I mean, I am so glad I had a moonstone. Otherwise, I'd be screwed. I, I could use a dragon crystal to get more MP. Just don't like wasting them. Oh, yay, more strength. That's always, for some reason, when I get that, it's more exciting to me than a level up. Because it seems to happen less often. So, look at that. With all my strength? Yeah. Yeah. I don't believe there are secret passages here, but I wanted to check anyways because it was a flat wall. Anytime it's not a flat wall, there are no secret passages. However, you know me. I like double checking. A lot of times. At this point, I think you should get that. Because one of the cool things, one of the greatest things about this game is exploration, and how could I not explore when I'm playing this game? Another elf bolt. We got some elves we gotta deal with here. Before we really start exploring it. Yeah. They kind of like scoot around the, along the ground. It's kind of funny. It's like when the dog like rubs his butt on the ground. I swear. I don't know why it reminded me of that, but it just did. <laughs> Not when I was a kid. I don't know what it reminded me. Maybe think when I was a kid. But just now, that's kind of what it reminds me of. All right. Come on, dude. Come on. We can get you. I can get you. Cause I believe. And all you need is power belief. That's all you need. Alright, got him once. He's hopping on the ground. Let's get him again. I know you like bouncing around. Okay, lots of graves to check. We already checked this grave. We got an elf's grave. Elf bolts. Tons of elf bolts that we're getting, which is always useful. Never know what enemies, like the termites, you can use the bows and arrows on. That is super helpful. Another elf bolt. So not the most exciting drops, but that's alright. And the Amulet of Mist. I don't remember what it does, but that's one of those items we could have bought at the beginning of the game. Did not need to buy it because we found it. I don't remember what it does, though. I think it helps prevent against different status effects. Um, we'll check it out when we find the Fortune Teller. We'll, we'll check it out and see what she has to say. So, yeah, that would be this part of this area. Area. Let's go ahead and check another part. Yeah, part of the reason my voice is off is because I think I have an ear infection. It's kind of just throwing me off in general. Because I can't totally tell what my voice sounds like. Yeah, I need to get that checked out. Honestly, not, not good. Ooh, level up. Level up. Da -na -na. Oh, I should not do that. That's probably a trademark thing. You didn't hear anything. Did not hear a thing. Oh, man, if only I went this way first. Oh, all right, Dragon Crystal already dropped. You knew I was coming. You knew me. You're like, well, he's gonna... He's gonna hit me anyways and come from the Dragon Crystal. I might as well just give it to him. These ghosts reappearing. See, look, you can run past them, but I kill everything because look at all these level ups I'm getting. Level up city, and I can definitely always use them. Always, especially right now. Let's go ahead and use an Earther. I just realized how low on health I am. I remember, I don't know, sometimes when I watch Let's Plays and people are low on health, it drives me nuts. 
So I don't want to drive you guys nuts in the same way I would drive nuts. So I still don't know if there's another way to drop down, really. I'm kind of curious if like one of those drops you somewhere else. I might just have to check it out. Just might. Because it's going to drive me nuts. Alright, here's one of them. Okay, so that's two of the drops we've now found of three. Three possible drops, we've found two. Here's the other end of that uh, prison that we saw, because this was that other drop I took. So this is just the other side. And that's all. That's all. Other side. And here we go, another cave to explore with an elf's grave. So I guess the whole reason to go down here apparently was for the amulet of mist. Honestly, I feel like there's got to be more. There's got to be more to it. There has got to be more. I Maybe mean, there's not, but I mean, that just feels like so underwhelming. Alright, I'm, I'm super checking for caves here. There's another singular elf's grave with nothing. Is there anything behind it? No. Nothing. Nothing. Alright, one. Two caves. Are there any caves I missed here? Oh, let's find these. Let's get these guys' descriptions while it's jumping at me. I'm in description mode. I'm, I just like finding things out. It always helps with the lore. A seagull. Grotesque and ferocious fish they li that live in the sea. They attack in packs whenever anyone gets close to them. Oh, wow, what a jump. That's why these guys can knock you out at the beginning of the game. Seriously, they are dangerous. But apparently they drop bird eye. I never knew that. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. We're getting lots of verdite, which again is worth tons of money. Actually, wait a second. Wait a second. That fire. That fire. How do we get over there? Maybe that's the other drop. Or is it this way? No? This one drop? Alright, this is the drop I came in through. And this is that first prison area that we saw. Right? Right? Okay. So this is where we need to somehow get to. Is it this prison area? Alright. So let's go ahead and use Moonstone. Let's warp it out there. We're gonna check it out. And then I swear to god guys, I will finish this for you. I will finish up this let's play. I'm just so curious right now. I have to find out. I just have to. I gotta. I gotta find out. It's gonna drive me nuts if I don't. Absolutely nuts. Wouldn't it be funny if I fell off and died? Wouldn't that just be funny and hilarious? And we'd all have a good laugh and then I'd cry because that means I'd have to start all over again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how, that's what would happen. Alright, 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 alright. So, this one... I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't know. This is the other drop. One of them was over here. This is the one I took. So, what about this drop? Hmm. I'm trying to test it out. I'm trying to see if I see that flame. I don't see it. I don't see that flame. Don't see it. I don't think this is the. Well. Ooh. 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 Oh, this is so intense. Which drop should I take? Um. Hmm. Alright. What about this drop? Where's that gonna take me? Ah, oh, man. Oh, man. Let's take this one. Let's take this drop. Aha! I took the right one. That was exciting. Why? I am so excited about that. I'm really excited about, like, nothing, basically. Alright. That's fine. I'm excited. Because we get to explore more, and I was so curious what, was, what else there was. So let's continue exploring the self's grave. Water crystal. I can't... Alright, I swear. I'm telling you guys, I really thought there was a crystal here. Or what, like a magic crystal that I was missing. I just didn't want to say anything and feel like an idiot if I was wrong. Alright, so. Let's use this water crystal. Let's warp up. And that will wrap it up for this Let's Play. So guys, thanks for joining me on this long one. You guys really made it through a long session of Let's Play. This is like about to go over an hour here. I was hoping to go 45 minutes, so. Definitely longer than I thought it would do. Alright, we got Resist Fire, I think. Did I already have that? No. Resist Fire, very, very useful. Again, it, eventually, there is a point where it's going to be very useful. So definitely good to have that Resist Fire. So, yeah, now we got all these different assist spells. Missile Shield, Resist Fire, 
Uh, Earth Heal's still my favorite, guys, just saying. Just saying. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Stargate to warp out. Alright, so we've explored those deaths. And we shall come back. And I will explore the area beyond here. I'll explore that other bridge area that's down further with the Red Krakens. When we come back, and then I'm going to go to the Pirate's Bay. If I've got time. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this Let's Play. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.